Taloa D9 Nation. I don't, I might be on an Indian Reserve, I'm not sure. They definitely hold their tribal court here though. Alright, so this fish hatchery is supposed to be open access. Alright, well it says employees only for like the walkway. Huh. And I don't, I don't need to get on there. I don't see anything. There's nothing even under the nets. Oh, there's a few small ones. Okay, they're not going to show up very well. <clears throat> I'm sure it's a seasonal thing. Alright, so I guess there's parking up ahead. It says right on that sign. Whoa. I didn't realize how much of a walk it is. It looks like... Oh, okay. Alright, I thought a truck was going to come up behind me. It looks like somebody's actually living on the property. That's strange. Uh, over 360 miles to San Francisco. This looks, this trailer looks like it's uh, somebody's home. Are you the maintenance guy? Oh, I work here for the hatchery. I do a little bit of everything. You do everything? Okay. Yeah. What's going on? Uh, I don't know. What's what's going on? Is this a public place? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's that's what's going on. Be in the public. Okay. So I have know. a look around. All right. You know, well, I just walked by when you come up around, there's like fish like areas that look like this. Mm -hmm. I didn't really see any fish. It says employees only, so I didn't walk across that steel thing. They're more fish like in, in further, you, you know what I mean? They're, they're in there. They there, hide, oh. in, hide in the shade. Oh, uh, yeah. So All right. Is it, is it a, it's out of season, right? They're, they're probably at their smallest right now or something then? We yeah. released the sealant in March, so they're March. about almost the size that we Oh, need so there's a big fish over there. It's just about five, six inches on average. Oh, that's not... Oh, okay. Yeah. You're yeah. not going to grow them full size. All right. No, we grow them the smallest and then we release them. How big do they get before you release them then? Like about double six, that? About six inches on average. Oh, okay. Okay, so they're yeah, getting they're almost full grown. The okay. Where we'll release them. All right. Yeah. So you'll be able to see them here. I'll throw a bit of food in here. You'll be able to see them jumping. Well, oh, you got. Okay. Wow, they do jump. 
they jump right over each other just to get to it. Huh. Yeah, that's interesting. Then we have some adult salmon over in these ponds here. So these are called weirs that go across the creek here, and they're on hydraulics. So oh, really? Raise or lower them. Yeah, yeah. So right now we have the trap it's set. So with the weirs up, the only way that the spawning fish can come upstream is indoor trap. Okay. Wow. And once they're in there, we sort through them, take the wild fish that are close to being ripe. In other words, they're ready to get yeah. up eggs and milk. Um, we'll have those in our holding pond. All the hatchery fish we just throw over the wall there and they continue upstream. We throw? All right. Yeah, we just open this little hatch here and then we have a net that we net them out with and then we yeah. just pour through them. Well, okay, and you're catching them right now. We have it set right now. There's not much coming up the stream right now. It's real low and clear. Okay. Was, so. uh, how many per week right now? Like last week? Did, did you... Last week we didn't have very many. I think we maybe had three or four total. But yeah. it's coming towards the end of the salmon run. So steelhead is yeah. going to be starting here pretty soon. We've had one steelhead oh, so far. All but right. It's going to be dry like this for a while. It's probably going to take a good rain yeah. for the creek to come up a bit before they start. Comes up this way. Do a fish so. letter, it's not being used. Yeah, they used to use it. Um, it's usually more effective if they're doing higher numbers, but with the, with the amount that we do here, it's just easier yeah. to use the trap. Is this this is the fish ladder? This is the ladder. Yeah. There's not much. Is it okay to go up on here and yep. just take a look? Just don't fall in. So wow. I was expecting something different actually. So alright. I think there's probably different different ways to design it, but that's the main, main concept. It's just a, a ramp with water coming down it. Yeah. And then it goes to the back side of our pond. Now, I'm not sure exactly how they used to how they used to use it, but several decades ago. Story there. Is it oh okay. I don't the Indians have different rights to net different mouths of different rivers. Um, yeah, they, here another big problem is we have a lot of seals out of the mouth of the river, and they get a lot of them before they, they come do? up here. Okay. And there's really no um, no natural predators for those seals, so they've kind of taken over. So. Security. Okay. My bad. Oh, thank you. Wow. Aware of what goes on above her. Jeez. But um, yeah, that's the one. In the creek. You are okay. Uh, so That, Foot draws, bells. that draws water up into those pipes. Okay. And uh, we have these pumps here that are sucking water up and down, and then that fills our tank. Yeah, and, and you have that, to. And then that feeds oh, our. Oh, because okay. That yeah. feeds our tank, and then that feeds all of our ponds. So we have pipes going everywhere to every pond. We have okay. ponds down here. And then yeah. We have our big room and feed water over there. Okay. So it, it looks complicated, but there's all well, there's random reasons. Do you put it through a filtration process? A, yeah, a fish hatchery tray. We have these little plastic inserts. Oh, that's uh -oh. what we put the eggs in, and then um, we have those stacks. So they go inside these larger that's... trays, and then the water just flows over them freely. Okay, piping and valves used for incubation. Purchase. Oh, okay. It's just a reminder. Yeah. And All right. As you can see we have a lot of stacks, a lot of trays. So they had um, high yeah. oaks when they first built this, but oh. we, only, we only really use two stacks right now. Oh. And uh, more right. little baskets that they stay afloat in. Yeah. Uh, basically to contain oh. them because they're not they're not hmm. strong enough to swim in the current yet. Okay. And then once they lose their yolk sac, we can let them out of those baskets and they swim freely in the crop. So we have water flowing on one end yeah. and then it drains down. Is here. this? Is this about the pole? Got this hawk. This hawk just swooped in in front of my car. I don't know why. He just wants to hang out there. It doesn't look like it's killed anything. It's just kind of hanging out right in front of my car. What's the deal with that? Whoa, there he goes. Whoa, alright, fine. Alright, so Smith Rivers is primarily a, a farm. <clears throat> That's about it.
following this manure spreader. I don't know where I could pass them up, I suppose. I've just, yeah, you can really smell it. It looks like it's empty, and he could see me, I believe. 